I would invite you to turn in your Bibles to Song of Songs, <coughs> verse, well, chapter 1, and we're going to start looking at verses 2 through 17 tonight. Do you remember the way to find Song of Solomon is to head for Psalms and the wisdom literature and then turn right and continue going through Ecclesiastes until you get to Song of Solomon. We started out talking about the, uh, the main characteristics of the book uh, last week. Today we're going to actually get into interpreting it and uh, talking about what is meant in chapter 1. But before we turn our attention to the word, let's go to the God who gave it and let's ask for his blessing. Lord our God, we know that all of Scripture was ultimately inspired by your Holy Spirit, and all of it is profitable for us, for reproof and for instruction, both in what we are to believe and what we are to do. I do pray, Lord, that as we come to your word today, that you would be the light of our minds and that you would help me, O Lord, to divide this word up aright. Help me, O Lord, to uh, not go astray to not find things that aren't there, to not make allegories that uh, are um, uh, sketchy at best, but rather, O oh Lord, to stick to your text and to apply it to your people. And I pray this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Song of Solomon's, uh, sorry, Song of Songs, which is the Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and reading to verse 17. This is the word of the Lord. Let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth, for your love is better than wine because of the fragrance of your good ointments. Your name is ointment poured forth. Therefore, the virgins love you. Draw me away. The daughters of Jerusalem will run after you.